Hi everybody, I am going to make some handmade paper, handmade pattern paper, and I thought I'd just kind of show what I'm working on. Um, I'm going to use my new watercolor pencils or crayons, so I thought I'd do some pineapples. So first what I did, I kind of just drew a grid, like I think it's one and a half inch grid, to eyeball the straightness of it. And I kind of want it to be a little bit... I don't want it to be perfect. I don't like anything perfect because I think it, I don't know, it's just not as interesting. So I'm using my thingamajig and if you haven't used one of these, you stamp, your, you set this up like that, okay? So the paper's not here. And then you ink up your stamp. I'm not going to ink it up because I have first mark on here. And you want it to go into the corner there and stamp it on here. So then you can place this on your paper exactly where you want it. So see, you can see the little stamp. And I'm seriously eyeballing this within that, those pencil lines. Just trying to keep it all straight. I'm using Versamark. I could use gold ink, but with Versamark you can actually, oops, I forgot to, did I do that? I better in just in case. With Versamark you can actually um, set this on top over it and it won't hurt the ink where if I was stamping with ink it would probably smear it while it was wet. And you can't see where that stamp, but I can. And you don't want to touch your paper because the oils from your fingers will cause the embossing powder to stick to those areas. First remark is kind it's a it's clear and it has kind of a sticky attribute to it so that it will hold the embossing powder. But it is a it's a clear ink. Then, the first, this kind of little. We're not making perfect pattern. If I was making perfect pattern, I'd do it on the computer. I'm 
And I'm gonna go heat emboss that. That's a different station, and I'll be back. All right, so that is all embossed. And I'm gonna clean up my little area. Put my things away. We wanna just erase all these pencil marks. Squeaky. And you wanna use a good um, art eraser. Don't use the end of a pencil or those pink erasers because that will rub the paper a little too much. Where these are just a better eraser. You can use a gum eraser too. Alright, so I'm going to get my Primas ready here. And I kind of want to try to do like a retro-y vintage look and do some like an old wallpaper or something. That's what she thinks she wants to do. So we'll see how it works. These are really fun to work with. Okay. Let's see how this looks. So I'm gonna do direct to paper and then use a brush to kind of soften it. And I think I'm just gonna do all the colors I want. And this again is just that um, artist loft paper. I just got it in finishing off a pad of it from Michael's. So it's fine. I mean, it's not the best paper, but it gives fine effects. These markers or crayons are awesome. They're really blendable and really nice. Okay, so I like those pineapples. And then we'll see. to use you have to press hard they're super creamy and then hopefully you know I'm trying to keep the watercolor in the inside the embossing as much as possible Hope it's light enough because it's early morning and I did my boho wood stamps yesterday morning and it's so dark. I didn't realize how dark it was in here for filming. So hopefully this is coming through. 
put in that one. Oh, yeah, I like those. I think I want to darken up the leaves a little more. Or is that the frond? And I don't have a darker green. I think I'll try a different green. Let's see what that does. Okay, so here are my pineapples, and I thought I'd use this color wash stamp set that I got at Michael's. Um, I like this little little spots and whatnot, and I thought because I kind of want to do like a little polka dot, but I think maybe that will. I think that'll work good. I just want to like. Test out this color. Got Simon Says Stamp Hot Lips. I think that'll work. Look at a fan. There's my paper, my paintable paper. Now I could go and get this copied, but obviously the gold glittery, I'm not sure how that would show up. But I think I might try and see what that looks like. And I think I need black or something here. So I might come back with something else, but I will show you if I do.